everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore, and first of all, I just want to apologize for my voice. Hopefully I can make it through this video. Um, I've been sick since the day after Christmas, which was my mom's birthday, and I started feeling like I was getting a sore throat. <clears throat> so I've been trying to, um, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> like I said, I hope I get through this video. But I've been um, trying to get rid of it since then, and I actually am feeling a little bit better, but um, my voice just isn't cooperating. So today I am going to share this cute little brownie box. This is a box that was requested before Christmas, but I had so much going on that um, I didn't have time to share it. So I am going to share it now, and I'm using one of the new stamp sets in the Occasion catalog that is coming out January 3rd, which I believe is next Wednesday. And I am going to do an Occasions haul, hopefully my voice will last, so that I can do that this weekend and get it posted on Tuesday. So um, I wanted Celebration is also when the Occasion catalog goes live, so... I really wanted to share my haul with you because there's so many cute things in there. And I just couldn't resist. I just overdid it. But um, anyway, this box was requested, so I'm sharing it now. And this box is a good size box. It is 9, nine by 6, and then it's an inch and a half tall. So it will fit um, like a regular brownie pan. Um, it will fit brownies in there. But what I would do is... Um, probably cut it up because um, cut them up and put them on parchment paper or some um, put it in a food safe bag because you know when it's in paper it's going to um, cause grease stains and stuff and you don't want that because the box is so cute so it opens like this and you do need two 12 by 12s to make this box. The stamp set that I'm using with the coordinating framelits is called Apron of Love. Look how adorable. On the next one I'm doing today, I'm going to show you a man's version, like for Father's Day. Because what dad doesn't love brownies? And you can put anything in here, actually. Cupcakes, those little cupcakes, nah, maybe not, but because um, it's only an inch and a half tall but cookies or anything like that and there would fit really nicely so this is it and it's so stinking adorable and then I'm um, also using the framelits and this is a bundle and it's called the apron builder framelit so if you get the bundle you save 10% so remember that and then when you spend $50 during okay the um, celebration you get to choose a free item on the celebration brochure. So if you would like a catalog and you don't have one, you don't have a demonstrator, um, you can contact me and I'll send you one. So look how cute these are. I'm going to use these little barbecue um, utensils for the one for the man. It's so cute. So this is what I'm sharing today and some of it I've already done ahead. So um, it doesn't take so much big shot time because you can get really detailed with this. I went ahead and stamped them on here, but you can also put the utensils in this one for a girl. Okay, so another thing is I wanted to share the paper that I'm using for this. One of them is a new one, and it is the um, True Gentleman, and this is one I'll show in the haul because this is one of the new ones coming out in the um, Occasions catalog. And it coordinates with um, a, a sta Dad's Father's Day stamp. It's really cute. But look at this paper. It's, it's so adorable. So uh, for the Dad's one, I'm using this one right here for the apron. Because I thought it would be really cute as an apron. And then for this one here that I used, I'm using the Bundle of Love. And this is our Specialty Designer Series paper. One side of this has um, foil on it. So all this side, you can see, is all foil, gold foil. So you can use this for any occasion, but this side, this is what I used here, and this side is all patterned. Same pattern as the foil, only in the pool party, and I think it's, let me see, oops, it's in Blushing Bride and Soft Sky and Very Vanilla. 
So I don't know if everybody knows this, I've said it before, but whenever you want to coordinate your colors, your stamps, with the um, paper, just look on the back and it's listed right here, the colors that are used in the designer series paper. Really good tip. All right, and so for this foil, I absolutely love this acetate, and it is our Fabulous Foils Designer Acetate, and it is silver on one side and gold on the other. I'm going to use the gold side for the men's, but I think it has four patterns. So one side's gold, one side's silver. So that is what I'm using for this. I don't know if you can see it real good. So that's what I'm using for the top because I thought it would be cute to have a little bit of fancy design on there. Isn't that cute? Alright, so let's get started with this. That is everything I think you need to know. So for the, the box itself, you are going to need one piece that's 12 by 9. And that's for the bottom of the box. And then for the top, you're going to need a piece that's 12 by 9 and 1 eighth. Be sure to get your eighth inch there because the top's going to fold over the bottom and you need that extra eighth inch. Alright, so I showed you the stamp set. So the designer um, foil, fancy foil, fabulous foil, um, designer acetate, this measures six and a half by four. That's a full mouthful there. And then um, you'll just need, which I already went ahead and cut out the little apron and I cut the little pieces out because I thought it would take I cut out the apron and then this is the top this is dapper denim and this is two the other one is the blushing bride and then this is for the little apron string and then I cut out a little apron and then out of the copper foil I cut out the little utensils in the framelits look how adorable these are they're so stinking cute and then it also comes with the little tongs but I didn't have room for the tongs in the apron. Well, you can stuff it in but I just thought the three were good enough. Alright, you are going to need your stitch shaped framelits and your ovals, um, layering ovals and your layering squares. So there is some big shotting here. And you can get super fancy, you can make it simple. This one I kind of made a little bit simpler. I just used um, the heart and the little fancy apron and I stamped all the rest. And again, the apron string I cut out. And then on the um, scalloped oval, I used the same designer series paper and then just some Whisper White for the... Um, you can do it very vanilla or Whisper White because it has both in it for the, the little tag here. Boy, my brain ain't working either, people. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I hope it's, this isn't too bad for you. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to get it out because I thought it was super adorable and I just didn't want to wait any longer to post another video. Alright, so let's get the scoring tool here. And we're going to go ahead and score. So I'm going to make sure I have the 12 by 9 piece. This is, they're very close. Oops. Yeah, this is the 9, so this one's the larger one. So about on the 12 by 9, on the 9 inch side, you're going to score it at 1.5. And, and at 10.5. No, not 10.5. On the nine inch, oh, seven and a half. <laughs> See what I mean? My brain is not working. That's the other side. So it's one and a half and seven and a half. And on the 12 inch side, I'm going to score it again at one and a half and ten and a half. And another way to do this that would make it even simpler is just one and a half on all four sides. So you can go all the way around at one and a half. That probably would be an easier way to explain it. So we're going to set this one aside, that's the bottom, and on the top we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to score it at one and a half, and let's just do it on all four sides. That would make it easier for me so I don't mess up. 
I'll put all the measurements, by the way, on my blog as usual. I put the measurements and the supplies for it on my blog. I'll post the um, new items, but you won't be able to get them till January 3rd. Alright, so this one's the top. Let's go ahead and cut them first because I don't want to mess up how I cut it out. So on this, the top piece, you're going to cut this square out here and then one on the other side because this is our lid. And then what I do is I just cut a little bit angled. It just makes the box look more like a box and it also a bakery box and it also helps it to close better. You don't have to be perfect on this part. Just guess. You can measure it out if you're particular. Sometimes I do. And then um, on this one you are going to just cut here and here and then you can take a little bit out from each corner. Okay, so I'm going to grab my bone folder. Hopefully I can find it. I'm getting ready to do a... Um, organize my craft room. I'm buying some new organization things, and I am promised myself this year I'm going to be more organized. So we'll see how that works out. I'm always so busy, but I am retiring com the coming up year, so hopefully I'll have plenty of time. All right, we're going to set the top piece uh, away, uh, on the side, and we're going to do the bottom. So on the bottom one, it's just a regular box, so just cut up each one of these. And on this one, I don't go around it, I just do both sides. Okay, now let's sharpen all these score marks. Use your tear and tape or your fast fuse and adhere um, on each one of these corners and put plenty on here so it stays. I got some stuck on here. When you get it stuck on the bottom, it doesn't want to. Make sure that part is clean. I've been doing really good with it. Of course, when I get on the video, it wants to mess up. All right, we're ready to go. So just line these up so it's real straight. This really is a cute box and I don't remember who asked for it but um, I just didn't have time to get to it before the holidays all right we're gonna set this one aside and I'm gonna bring the big shot up here all right first things first here so how I use this is the layering square and it's the tr three inch so what I'm going to do is I am going to mark, see this will fit right in the center here. So you want that um, to butt up against these edges. And I marked, I believe it was one and a half inch from the top. We're going to mark one and a half inches from the top. And then I'm going to show you. And then from this side also. Because you want that to be centered in the in the center and use a pencil so you can erase it after and then we're going to set this here just to the edge where you marked it and these are going to I'm going to use for this I'll use the magnetic platform but I'm also going to use 
a little a bit of my tape just to hold it in place. And we're going to run this one through. See how the edges meet up right there because you want it to be straight. I'm really particular when it comes to this, so because I want it just right. And then I'm going to run this through and then I'm going to line it up with the other one. So let's get this big shot up here. And I'm using the magnetic because it really helps in this situation. So you're going to fold these over. Actually, you can just run it through like this. So you may be able to see it better now, what I'm talking about, about these edges meeting up with the framelit. And we're going to run that through. And then I'm going to run it back through the other way. And then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So I'm going to line my framelit up with that mark that I made. And you want these edges again. And then we're going to run it through again. It's really not difficult. Just take your time so you can get it even. And we should be ready to go. If you have it where it doesn't cut through, all you have to do is clip right there. It's just a tiny bit. So there is the window. That's the only way I could figure out how to get it big enough where you can see what was inside. And I just thought it was super cute to be able to see the brownies inside or cookies or whatever you use. So I'm going to use the gold side up this time. I used the silver on the one for the girls because I thought it went better with the Blushing Bride. I'm just going to run my Fast Fuse. It's not wanting to cooperate today. I'm running it all along the sides. Sometimes I'll use a the glue dots, but for this one I'm using my Fast Fuse. I want it to stay. Okay, so the gold side up, and then you're going to just set this down. And you have your window. Look how cute. I love this. All right, now we're ready to put the top onto the um, box. We want to adhere these first. So we're adhering these. It's going to be the part that closes. Don't adhere it before you do your window. Make sure you do your window first. Okay, now we're going to run on the inside, we're going to run Fast Fuse and put plenty on there because this is what is holding your box, your lid on. So I just ran three things on there. You can put it on either side here. We're going to just set this. I always put my lid on first like that and then just fold that over and then you're ready to go. Now we're ready to decorate it. Is that not cute? I love this dapper denim and it looks really pretty with the gold. All right, so let's get decorating this. Like I said, I already cut out the little um, And now what I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm going to use some Versamark and I'm going to emboss in white emboss the dad on here because I thought this is cute for Father's Day. I know it's a little ways away, but I'm thinking ahead here. I didn't get that even. We're going to use the other side. Okay, that one's good. I'm going to grab my white emboss. You don't even have to do this part. I just thought it would be super adorable to have Dad on there. <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. All right, so let's get the heating tool and we're going to emboss this. All right, so we have the dad embossed. That gets really hot. Use some tweezers when doing that because this is so small it's hard to hang on to. I did drop it once. So, Alright, so now we're going to get the little utensils that I cut out and we are going to attach them on here. So let me use some, I'm going to use Tombow for this because these are small. Just put them where you think you want them. I'm going to put the little apron over. And you have time with the Tombow to move them around a little bit. I'm so sorry for the sniffles and stuff, but I'm trying not to, it's just really hard. Okay, so now let's attach the dad, the little apron. I'm going to go ahead and just use Tombow again on this. Since I've got it here. Look how cute with the little dad on there. And you can put, I don't even know, they have friend, dad, mom. You can do it like for the mom one also. Okay, for like Mother's Day. Alright, now we are going to attach this with some dimensionals. Oh, I need to attach the little stringy here. Look how cute the other side of the paper is. I'm just going to put two little dabs here. And we're going to put some dimensionals on here. Oh, and I forgot to cut the other pieces out. I'll have to bring the big shot back up here. I was going to do everything at one time, but you can tell my brain is cold, is not. <laughs> so we're going to put that right there. And then let's scoot that out of the way, and I'm going to grab my Whisper White. Okay, here's my Whisper White. I'm going to stamp the Maid with... Uh, made with love in the dapper denim. Isn't that cute? And we're gonna grab the big shot again. And I'm gonna use some designer series paper again for the back. Okay, let's get the big shot up here again. It's, it's a lot easier if you do this all at the same time. But like I said, my brain is not working. So we're going to cut the maid and it just fits in to that one. And then I'm going to just grab a piece of the designer series paper and cut a scalloped oval also. If you just want to use the layering ovals, I just love the stitching. You know how I love those framelits. Alright, we're done there. We just have to put it together and we are finished. So there's the Made with Love. This is so cute. I love the stamp set. The new... Apron, apron of love. It's so adorable. You can use dimensionals also on the back of this. But I'm just going to attach it with Fast Fuse. 
I'm not going to pop this one up. Look how cute that is with the designer series paper in the back. I love these little glasses too. It's super adorable. All right, we're going to grab that and we're going to put this one up here. So look how cute. I just love this little box. It's really adorable. So I think whoever asked for it, it's here's the other one that's for the girl. Is that not so cute? I love these little this little stamp set. It's going to be really popular when the occasion catalog goes live January 3rd. So if you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at Stamping with the More uh, as usual and shop right from my blog. And if you have any questions or, oh, this is also a good time when occasion starts to join Stampin' Up! And if you're interested in joining, just contact me on my blog in the contact section if you have any questions or you can just click the join my team um, to join. And it's really good right now because you get extra stamp sets during celebration. Plus, I hope you all have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed the little brownie box. Um, I will catch you in the next one. Hopefully my voice will be better. <laughs> have a great day, everyone. Bye.